Hey everybody, Rich back again and doing a follow up now on going back to my detail item, uh, detail component uh, for uh, wood frame construction. So I'm back here in the family editor and I first want to start, it's actually a little bit of a follow up. If you saw my last video, it was actually more of a project specific video where I had a client request something in a short period of time and I was using uh, yes no parameters for visibility. Uh, I want to start there because uh, this is a really great follow-up. So in this particular family with the wood framing, so this is just the wood framing wall where I have floor framing below. So I have the floor framing here, and then here's your wall framing, here's your here's your jet board. And if I switch over to an actual uh, project, real world project, if I click here, here's here it is and it has all those components. Now one of the things that I did here was sometimes in a situation like this you may have like especially like on the first floor here this is a, this project second floor edition you're gonna have the floor framing but you may have a situation where uh, you want to utilize this family but uh, maybe the floor is like a concrete slab so you wouldn't necessarily have the floor framing uh, shown in this detail component so what I did was I created, uh, you can see over here in the properties of um, under visibility, I have a, a box here marked floor framing. So what this is, is this is an instance parameter. So this doesn't affect if I have multiple um, situations of this uh, detail item in this view uh, or throughout the project. Um, it doesn't, ch it's not like a, uh, if I change it here, it's gonna change anywhere else. Uh, because it's an instance parameter, Whoop, sorry, I'm clicking on, there we go. I can change it right at this instance and that's it. So, and the way I do it is just by simply checking the box and you can see here that the, uh, the floor framing disappeared. Uh, and then to bring it back is just a simple um, check the box and there you go. Um, same thing here, you can see I also have a double head. So this is obviously a situation where there's a window, but let's say if this was, well, if I, yeah, if I come up here, here's another example. I have the same family but I have double head actually checked uh, because this goes over this I would have a double head here where the the roof is framing into the wall uh, but same type of deal I uncheck the box that second that second um, stud goes away I check the box the stud comes on um, and it's still again as I move these uh, move these uh, grips uh, everything is uh, you know still still connected um, the only thing that's a little bit different or not let's say not automatic uh, in this case and I'm just gonna copy this um, over for one second and I believe in my intro um, video I may have kind of covered this but if I move um, the bottom so that space where like there's a uh, plywood and whatnot uh, doesn't it does not have a lock and the same thing for the the depth of the um, the depth of the the floor framing uh, that is still adjustable in, in my particular family um, there's ways you could lock it if you wanted to but I felt like I wanted to have I actually value the the ability to um, kind of adjust rather than have those things locked and and sometimes like as a, as a general tip when creating families whether it's detail items or or model families is you gotta be uh, I, I would be careful of um, not over constraining but putting too many parameters in a uh, in a in a uh, well yeah in, in a component or family um, so in this case I didn't it didn't feel like the the lock was necessarily there you just kind of make things kind of too complicated you may be spending a lot of time trying to figure it out when it's just pretty easy just to just to shift the uh, the, the 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 parameter here um, real quick plus then of course you can be being a parameter you can come over here and I have I have a number of dimensional um, uh, parameters as well so I'm looking for uh, floor framing depth so let's just say you know I want that to be nine and a quarter inches and the floor sheathing at three quarters of an inch and everything goes back to um, to what it needs to be um, so that was really um, there's actually two parts to that um, but that, that actually is a good kind of transition into what I wanted to talk about um, uh, 
also is these actual spe specific um, dimensional uh, parameters. So these are all actually, actually all of these ones, floor framing depth, floor sheathing thickness, bottom of first floor, they're all, and uh, wall stud width, these are all adjustable parameters. So if I go back in here, you'll see grips, and I'm gonna, let me just switch the thin line just a little bit so you can see the grips, but you'll see here's the grips, I can move the width, um, I already kind of covered those, but then the overall height as well, they all adjust. They all adjust. There's none. None of these are, are locked in, um, or you know, or anything. Uh, the only things that are necessary that are locked in, and it's a way for so that the that certain thing, certain these these elements kind of move with the grips, are the the actual studs. So I have just a hard dimension of one and a half inches. I have that locked, and I believe in the last uh, video I kind of covered this as well so all of the kind of two by dimensions are all locked but that's so i can move so everything can kind of move with these grips um and then um just finally is really uh you know again i kind of covered the visibility um, i do also have um some visibility or yes i'm sorry yes no parameters that are attached to visibility um, for the thickness of drywall. So I have one for half inch, five eighths inch, but those are different in terms of, let's see if I can click on here, edit one. If I go here, it's a type parameter. So when it comes to the family, I want to have a situation, at least in this, in this case, where I have uh, drywall on the interior face and it's either going to be half inch or five eighths inch or, or, and then the third option I want to have is I want to have one where there's no drywall at all. So here is I created um, two yes no parameters of gypsum wall board half inch gypsum wall board five eighths inch, and it, and again attach them to the visibility of the actual object. So if you click on one of the objects in here in the family editor, you'll see under visible it has the uh, equal sign right here, and it says associate family parameter, and I select the parameter I want it to to be attached to. Um, so you can see here, both of them are unchecked in this case because the, the current parameter is set to no gypsum wall board. But if I go to half inch, you'll see that checked for half inch and you'll see five eighths for five eighths. Now, you may be asking yourself, we're in the family parameter, or I'm sorry, in the family editor, but you can see, you can see the items. Well, if you go down to the bottom here, let me feel, uh, I forget which one, which one it is, I think it's this one here, it says pre preview visibility off, if you click on, now you'll see the actual visibility of your family if it was in the, the project environment. Um, so if I come over here to the family types and I put in 5 eighths, I hit apply, you can see now um, it's shown there. And again, it looks like here for whatever reason, this was set at eight feet or at two feet rather than eight feet. So those things move. But if I go to half inch, oh, well, half inch here, let me just change this to eight as well. So that doesn't change. Actually, you're not going to see too much, but half inch just changed <laughs> uh, five eighths. And then, of course, no gypsum wall board. Hit OK. Actually, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit and we can do this, do this one more one more time for, uh, let's go five eighths, hit apply, see the five eighths, and then you sh should be able to see, yeah, a little bit of a change there for, for the half inch. So, um, so yeah, so those, those um, are really just, uh, the, the, that's really how this is all set up um, overall with the yes, no parameters for visibility of objects, and then the actual um, dimensional, I'll just call them dimensional parameters uh, for the um, for the different sizes and whatnot. Um, one last thing is I'm going to switch over to this is a very similar um, family, but rather than it being here for the floor framing, it's in a situation where you have a window a window head up to the top of the wall. Um, so of course I don't have the floor framing parameters here. Uh, but what I do have is really just the overall height, the width, the visibility. If I go over here again, are you going to see it? Yeah, yeah. So you'll see the visibility for the double head. It's the same thing as an instance, instance parameter. Um, 
and then I have the visibility for you know half inch, five eighths inch, again here, uh, and then the really big big thing is that I have. Uh, let me change the scale here real quick to let's say there we go, half one inch. Oh, um, hold on, buddy. I'm I'm recording something. Sorry, my son just walked in on me. <laughs> um, let me just finish this up, bud. Um, but yeah, so I have, uh, again, three evenly spaced um, two buys. In this case, that actually the way I do this here is I have one of them kind of locked to one side, one of them locked to the other, and then I have a, a final kind of midpoint reference plane where I lock this stud to that reference plane, and then the way this stays always in the middle is I have an equal, equal dimension here. So just wanted to cover that real quick. And um, uh, I actually also have a, so if you have two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights for the window head, I do have another reference here that, it cha that can change that. So for example, if I click on here, I have the ability for, for the, that, that to change. And then of course, if I change this, again, it's gonna be uh, evenly spaced. So hopefully that helps. Um, I, got, I got my little guy here, so I gotta move on to uh to meeting with him so uh feel free to comment um below the video or post and let me know if you have any questions all right i'm a youtuber yep yeah give me a fist bump bud <laughs> yeah he's uh you can see he's kind of excited so uh until next time i will uh i'll see you then with uh any revit help all right we'll see you